Clare's Podge Collins seems to be coming back to his best five years after winning an All-Ireland and an All-Star award as a 21-year-old. In 2013, he took the hurling championship by storm, scoring 18 from play across seven games. Since then, he hasn't quite hit the high bar he set that year. In 2014, he only played two games as Clare crashed out early doors. Collins was sent off in their drawn match with Wexford and missed the replay, which they lost. In 2015, he tore his cruciate ligament in a club game with Crat Lowe and missed the championship entirely. His form has been up and down since. He only scored a single point in last year's championship despite putting up a number of scores the year before. This year he has also been restricted in his action but came on to change the course of the game in last week's win over Tipperary. Collins was brought on just before the halftime whistle last week but the performance he put in in the second half still managed to earn him a Man of the Match nomination. Despite only playing one half, he finished the day joint top scorer from play with John McGrath and Ian Galvin, having played a major role in Galvin's goal too. With Clare down 110 to 9 points at halftime, Collins' impact was clear straight away. His movement and angles of running have always been a key asset in troubling defences. He showed it for his first point early in the second half, coming into the half forward line and then turning into space he had created when Donald Toohey sent a long puck out his way. Pod showcased his alertness for breaks with the second point, picking up a breaking ball that was fired into John Conlon. His impact didn't just come from his scores, but the turning point in the game from a player point of view came in the 65th minute with the banner a goal and a point down. Collins was afforded an easy point opportunity following a quick counter-attack, but spotted Ian Galvin in space close to goal. He managed to beat his defender and find Galvin in space, who duly raised the green flag. That made it a one-point game with five minutes to go. Then, in injury time, Collins stepped up to level the game, 121 apiece, scoring despite these three tip defenders bearing down on him. The impact that Collins made on the game was described as game-changing by Brendan Cummins and Michael Dignan on the Sunday game, and it's easy to see why. Clare managed nine points in the first half, but 114 with Collins on the pitch in the second. Generally, his off-the-ball running was very good. He came on at corner forward, but frequently came deeper to collect possession, leaving space inside for John Conlon and Shane O'Donnell to win frees. Despite only playing one half of hurling, the Sunday game panellists deemed him worthy of a Man of the Match nomination. Is the 26-year-old back to his best?